you, what do you make of President Trump's trip so far? Is it a success or actually it's a success so far as long as he doesn't come back home to more leaks? Um, I think so far it has to be uh, deemed a success. He's out of the Washington hothouse. He's taken himself out of the Washington hothouse uh, by not being in this response attack mode. He's been remarkably scripted uh, with his visits. I think he's got key messages over, a stabilization of America's role in the Middle East, sticking by traditional allies. To be honest, any element of stability at the moment, given how much instability there is in the world more generally, is welcome. I think the European part of the visit is going to be a bit more complicated. We've seen already the optics of this admittedly long-planned uh, former President Obama trip to Germany and how that could trigger, given that I think Obama is that touch point always for uh, uh, President Trump, that's who he's comparing himself to, it may trigger a little bit of loss of discipline. So far, I think the trip is very good. Um, Philip Hildebrand, how do you make, I mean, what do you make of the, he's, uh, President Trump has looked presidential in his first foreign trip. Does that actually give him a little bit more political capital at home to go through the reforms that he needs tax health care? Well, everybody wants him to succeed. I think, you know, this again is the U.S. is the core of the global economy. We saw what happened during the crisis when things go wrong in the U.S. So it's very important that he succeeds. Any kind of sense of stability on the policy front, these are mostly images so far, any sense of stability on the policy front would further reinforce this very positive conjunctural environment that we talked about earlier. Robin, I want to talk about Manchester and what you perceive, and not only you, but all of your experts at Chatham House, on the linkage of terror to the theology of the United Kingdom. I was thunderstruck in the Telegraph, the SI, the essay, rather, by Trump advisor Sebastian Gorka. He has been hugely controversial within the United States. He says, basically, go after the bastards, and there's many other shades of analysis of what to do about terror. What is the Chatham House prescription? for Prime Minister May and the nation? Well, look, uh, this is one of the most difficult uh, challenges out there. It is one that is embedded throughout Europe. It reminds us that the United Kingdom is very much a European uh, uh, nation in the sense that we have first, second, third generation uh, uh, young people who in many cases are disconnected or isolated from their societies, but they are very small minorities. And what we're finding in the Islamic State is a group that has worked out not how to send necessarily terrorists over, but how to groom, and in many cases it is grooming, almost like pedophiles, uh, young men principally, though maybe women as well, into becoming agents for destruction. They want to sow separation in those societies. There is no military solution. Uh, there is, you know, go after the bastards, which ones? Um, you know, I think the response in Manchester has been dignified, appropriate. Uh, this will be a long-term uh, challenge. It's one we're not going to fix quickly. It requires uh, a greater level of trust between parts of the Muslim communities and police forces and local communities within uh, particular yeah, cities across the United Kingdom. But this is not, not going to be fixed by emotive, uh, uh, you know, grandstanding. Robin, I noticed last night within the American zeitgeist on this horrific tragedy, the idea that they knew two, three, four times about this character. That can't go on. You people are experts in what a society does about this. How do you get these identified people that want to do evil things to good people. Well, look, it's been 12 years since a major-sized terrorist attack in the United Kingdom. Um, it is very difficult to stop self-starters like we had in the attack recently outside the Houses of Parliament. This is clearly a more planned attack that has an infrastructure around it, and the UK has felt it's done very well in trying to manage those up to time. But you will never be, ever be fail-safe. The UK has been on the severe the, the level of threat. <clears throat> I, an attack right. is likely for the last three years. Um, and I think what this attack reminds us of is that there are so many multiple weak points around Europe's periphery. This was a Libya connection. There's a yes. particular small Libyan community in Manchester. You might be focusing on the Syrian community. You might be focusing on the Iraqi community, the Afghan community. It is, it is almost impossible to, right. to block it all the way through.